Hey yogis, I'm Nicole. Welcome to My Yoga Time. Today I have another Vinny Yoga Flow for you. So Vinny Yoga, if you haven't practiced it before, it's very methodical, it's very repetitive and it's slow moving. It's a very therapeutic practice where we're constantly preparing the body for what's coming and counter stretching what's just been practiced. So it's one of my favorite styles of yoga and if you have practiced some of my other slow flow classes, you would have seen a little bit of Vinny Yoga threaded through those classes, but this particular sequence is 100% Vinny Yoga. So we're gonna start standing when you're ready to the top of your mat. Now I do have two blocks for this practice. You can practice without blocks, but if you've got them at home, you'll probably feel better with them. So we're gonna start standing with one block in between your thighs. So before we begin to move, let's place the tip of the tongue where the teeth meet the roof of the mouth. Try to keep the tongue in this position for the whole class. So there's a little space between top and bottom teeth. Jaw is relaxed, so let's tone the throat just a little for Ujjayi breath. So when you're ready, thighs firming in on the block. As you inhale, the arms will float up. And as you begin to exhale, bend those knees, folding forward, keeping your chin tucked in. Inhale, come halfway up, squeeze in on the block, bring those arms with you, thumbs point to the ceiling. Exhale to fold. Bend in those knees just a little, coming all the way up, begin to inhale when you're halfway up. Then as you exhale, taking a twist, left arm back, push the left hip forward. Inhale those arms together, and exhale, other side. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, half lift, lower belly firm. Exhale to fold. Coming all the way up. And as you begin to exhale, twist to your left. Exhaling down once again. We'll do that one more time. Notice how your body is feeling with each repetition. So the body begins to warm, to gently open. And exhale those hands down, well done. Remove that block in between your thighs, just pop it down next to the feet. Bring the hands to prayer, coming into a one-legged chair. So balancing on the right side, raise the left knee. Place the left ankle on the right knee. Let's take a seat from here. So you should feel a nice opening through that outer left hip, through that piriformis. Breathe into this space. Next inhalation, lifting up, and take that left leg back for warrior one legs, but have those feet as wide as the hip. So those left toes are pointing to the front corner of the mat. If there's any concerns with knee, hip, or ankle, make it a high lunge instead. So for this whole flow, I want you to press those feet away from one another. You're stretching the mat. So we'll bend in that right knee, and lift the arms, and as you inhale, bring the arms back. Exhale the arms forward. Inhale, straightening the right leg, keeping the chin tucked in, keep stretching the mat with your feet as you fall forward, finding your blocks. Inhale, halfway, and as you do, find a little back bend here. So tailbone lifts, heart lifts. And then exhale. Strong in both feet, bending in the right knee, arms coming up, and continue to inhale those arms back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, straighten, exhale, fold. So begin to bend that right knee. Inhale when you're about halfway up and still on that inhalation as you take the arms back. 
So each movement is mindfully placed with the breath. Remember to stretch the mat with your feet. This will offer a little more stability through the lower back and the hips. Exhaling down now, we're gonna stay down. If you can, try to bring your belly to touch your thighs. So if you need to bend that right knee a little, feel free. Gently press those palms down and try and slide them forward. Allow the back to round. And let's breathe into the back. So I'm going to count your next two breaths here. If you need to breathe against my count, please do so. Do not strain the breath. We're going to inhale for four, hold two, exhale six, hold two. Let's all breathe out together. And inhale one, two, three, four, holding one, two, exhale one, two. Three, four, five, six. Holding one, two. Inhale one, two, three, four. Holding one, two. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six. Holding one, two. Take one more breath to your count. Well done, inhale, start to lift up, raise that left heel, rock back and step that left foot to the top of the mat. And folding down. Inhale, half lift, you can keep the hands down. Exhale to fold. And as you come upright, bring those arms in front. Well done, hands to prayer. Take one legged chair on the other side. So raising the right knee and bending the left leg. Inhale, lifting up. Take that right leg back. Now we want those feet hip width apart, warrior one legs or a high lunge. When you're ready, bending that left knee, stretching the mat with your feet. And on your next inhalation, bring the arms back. Exhaling forward. Keeping your chin tucked in and your neck in line with your spine. Half lift as you inhale. Forward fold as you exhale. Begin to bend the left knee, stretch the mat. Start to inhale as you lift up and take those arms back. And we'll stay down this time. Half lift. And exhale to fold if you can, belly to touch the thigh. Keep gently pressing those feet away from one another and the palms down and forward. Let's all breathe out together. And inhale, one, two, three, four. Holding one, two, Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Holding one, two. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Holding one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Holding one, two. One more breath into the back.
Well done. We'll just pop those blocks to the side. You can raise the right heel, rock back and step up to the top of the mat. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, fold. Coming all the way up, bring those arms with you. We'll lower those hands down and step your left leg back, bringing those legs into a wide-legged position now. So feet are parallel to the short side of the mat. Feel free to turn those toes in just a touch. Still stretching the mat with your feet, lifting arches of the feet and the knees. So we're going to move into dynamic twists here. Let's inhale. And as you exhale, twist to your right. Left hand's gonna take a hold of the right leg wherever you land, right arm up to the ceiling. As you begin to inhale, start to lift up and exhale other side. Keep moving with the breath. One more, we're gonna stay down this time. So if there's any discomfort with your right shoulder, just pop your hand to your low back. Any concerns with your neck or if it's straining, just look down. So same again, we'll stay for two breaths and I'm gonna count those breaths. Let's breathe out together. And inhale, one, two, three, four, Holding one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, five, six. Holding one, two, inhale one, two, three, four. Holding one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, five, Six, holding one, two. Strong in those legs now. Let's come up. Well done, other side. And let's all breathe out together. And inhale, one, two, three, four. Holding one, two. Exhale, one, two three, four, five, six, holding one, two, inhale, one, two, three, four, holding one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, holding one, two, and let's come all the way up. Well done. Arms up and we'll fold straight down for our counter pose. So hands can come to the mat or to the block. If you can in line with your feet, gently press those palms down and try and slide them forward. Feel your armpits firm. Keep lifting the arches of the feet and your knees. Let the head hang. Be with your breath. Well done. Begin to lift the head. Let's just walk the hands to the top of the mat. So you'll transition into a lunge. Step back into your downward facing dog. Holding here as you inhale. Then as you exhale, slowly bring those knees down to the mat. So if you can, have your pinky fingers just meeting the edges of your mat. Fingers spread nice and wide. Inhaling into your back bend. Then as you exhale, let's round the spine. Keep that roundedness as you take your hips up and back. Holding here as you inhale, send your chest towards your thighs. And then as you exhale, slowly lower down. Find your back bend, move with your breath.
last one. We'll hold it here for two breaths. Gently squeezing the heels of the palms in towards one another. Well done, next exhalation, let's lower those knees down. So from here, we're gonna come down onto your back. So feel free to come down any which way or for a little bit of core, we'll bend those knees, press those heels down, try and drag the heels back towards your bottom, hands into prayer and slowly roll down. So when you touch down, we've got those knees bent. Now, if you've got a block, you might like to place it in between the thighs it's just a wonderful cue for your muscle memory, for your alignment. So we'll turn the palms to face the ceiling. You might like to let those fingers just expand naturally or connect index finger and thumbs for chin mudra. Gently press those feet down and away and begin to tuck your tailbone under. Inhale to lift the hips up. And then picking up the heels, exhale to lower down. tailbone and then heels touching down. Press those feet down and away, begin to tuck the tailbone. Inhale to come up. Picking up the heels, exhale to lower. And this last time now coming up, we're going to hold it here. Check the position of your tongue. Steady the breath. Next inhalation, picking up those heels and ripple down one vertebrae at a time. Well done. When you touch down, you can remove the block. Butterfly legs now bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide. Now, if your hips need support, place your blocks underneath your thighs. Let's interlace the fingers on the navel and as you inhale, arms above the head. And as you exhale, lower them back down. The last one, we'll keep the arms above the head for two breaths. Breathing down into the hips and thighs. As you exhale, tone the lower belly. As you inhale, be soft, let the belly rise. On your next exhalation, lower those hands down, bring those knees together. So we'll take a hold of the knees, just for a, a quick counter stretch, arms as straight as you inhale, or bend the knees as you exhale. From here, see if you can pistol grip your big toes and straighten the legs. Now, if you can't reach the toes, just take a hold of the ankles or wherever you can reach. Holding here, and then as you inhale, take the legs out as wide as you can go. And then we'll exhale them back together. Do one more. Exhaling back together. And then we'll just briefly bend those knees. Move your hips just a touch to the right 
and then we'll straighten both legs, raise the right leg once again. So either holding on wherever you can or you could always use a strap or take a hold of the ball of the foot. Inhaling here and as you exhale, take the leg over to the left, just 45 degrees and then come back to centre. So we're going to do that another time. And then this third time, we're going to come all the way down into your twist. To mind how much room I've got. <laughs> if there's any discomfort in this right shoulder, you can bring your arm down next to the body, otherwise out to the side. And if it feels okay for your neck, just briefly lift the head and move the back of the head to the left, then turn the head to the right. Breathing into the lower belly, the lower back. Now count your breaths once again. Let's breathe out together. And inhale, one, two, three, four. Holding, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, Six, holding one, two, inhale one, two, three, four, holding one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, holding one, two, three more breaths. I'll let you count your breath. And with a little tone in the belly, let's inhale, bring that leg back to centre. You can bend your left leg, arms down next to the body and slowly lower down. Well done. Just bend both knees again and shift the hips over to the left. Just a touch before straightening the legs, taking a hold of the foot if you can reach, otherwise the calf is fine or the knee. Inhaling here. And then as you exhale, over to the right, 45 degrees. Inhale, back to center. And this third time coming all the way down, do try to create a little bit of resistance between the foot and the hand. So there's a push-pull effect. Once again, if it feels okay for your neck, move the back of the head just a little to the right and then turn the head to the left. And I'll count your breaths here. Let's breathe out together. And inhale, one, two, three, four. Holding, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Holding, one, two. Inhale, one, two, three, Four, holding one, two, exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, holding one, two, three more breaths.
and with a little tone through the lower belly, let's inhale, bring that leg back to centre. Feel free to bend your right leg and slowly lower down. So from here we're going to flip over onto your navel. Extend your right arm out in front, left arm next to the body, palm facing down. So be sure to tuck your tailbone under, lower belly firm. As you inhale, lift the left leg and the right arm. Then as you exhale, lower the leg down and switch arms. Tuck the tailbone, inhale, right leg, left arm. Exhale, lower down, change sides. The last one. Well done. Hands under shoulders. You can move via the knees. Come into your plank position. Round out the back and then downward facing dog. From here we're going to move into pigeon pose. Bring your left knee behind your left wrist and lengthen your right leg behind you. Now, if this is not an option for you, depending on your knees and hips, roll off to one side and bend both legs. So I don't know if you can see there, my left shin and right thigh are parallel to one another. There's a right angle through the backs of both legs, so there's no risk of twisting in that knee. Otherwise, in your pigeon pose, be sure to keep a little squeeze behind that knee. We're going to take the arms a little wider than the shoulders, a little further in front, and keep those palms lifted. Inhaling here, and then as you exhale, just fold down. Inhale to come back up. So try to make a circular motion through the shoulders. Exhaling to lower. Tucking in the chin. Inhale to come up. We'll do two more. Well done. Plant those palms onto the mat and step back into your downward facing dog just to change sides. Right knee coming up. Or feel free to lean off to the right again and bend both knees. So hands either side, a little squeeze behind that right knee. Inhaling, heart lifts, and as you exhale, lower down. Then tuck in your chin, lifting up through the shoulders to come up. Follow your breath. The last one. Well done. We'll just lean off to the right and bring your left leg around and create a diamond shape with your legs now. So don't have those heels too close to the groin, have a nice bit of space. If you need to support knees and hips, blocks can go underneath. So we're just going to fall forward for a static pose here. You might choose to rest your hands on the feet, or if you can, thread those arms underneath the ankles, bringing the palms to the tops of the feet. Just letting the head hang and the back to round. Begin to feel the breath moving the back side of the body. Feel the back gently rise and expand as you inhale. Be sure to pause before you exhale and soften. I'll let you count your breaths here.
Next inhalation, let's lift up. I'm threading those arms. And staying seated now, I'm gonna take my legs wide. So if that feels okay for you, do so. We're gonna come down into a side bend. So if it doesn't feel okay for you, then you can bend your right leg first, take the foot to the thigh. If you need to support the hip or knee, block underneath. So a few choices there. If you're taking your legs wide, be sure to press down through the heels, toes and knees point to the ceiling. If you have bent that right leg, just a little squeeze behind the knee. Let's inhale the arms up. And as you exhale, lean over to the left, just 45 degrees, and then come back to center. So we're giving the body plenty of warning as to the direction we're moving. Third time, let's stay down. So we'll bring the back of the hand to the leg. If you're close to the foot, palm is on the inside, and then take a hold of the big toe knuckle. If this right shoulder is in any sort of discomfort, just take the hand to the low back. Otherwise, arm overhead, or maybe you can reach your big toe. Look down if the neck is strained. Otherwise, feel free to look towards the armpit. If you've got a hold of that foot, create a little bit of resistance. Find that push-pull between the hands and the feet. Breathe into the side waist. One more breath. Press the heels down strong in the core. Let's inhale, come back up to center. Well done. Change legs if you've got one leg bent. When you're ready, we'll exhale 45 degrees. And back to center. All the way down, taking a hold wherever you land. Be with your breath, moving the body. Well done, press down through those heels, strong in the core, coming all the way up, and lower those hands down. So hands can come under the knees, help those legs come together. Give the legs a little squeeze. And then if it's okay for your knees, we're gonna come over onto the knees now. Into a kneeling position, arms coming up as you inhale, and as you exhale, folding forward into child's pose. Forehead to the mat, or if you can't reach, just position your block there. Well done, inhale, coming up, send the hips forward, and exhale to lower. Last time coming up. And as you exhale down, we're gonna hold child's pose for a few breaths. Option to take chin mudra, connecting index finger and thumbs. Letting those palms face the ceiling. You might choose just to stay still here, or maybe a gentle rocking motion. 
as you roll from temple to temple. Once again, feel the back side of the body rise when you inhale. Pausing before you exhale. Well done, let's place the hands under the shoulders, lifting yourself up. We'll come down onto your back. So moving into Shavasana for a few moments, then we'll come to seated for Pranayama before reclining to Shavasana. Taking up as much space as you need to on the mat. Be sure to tuck those shoulders under. Feel free to let those fingers naturally curl or find chin mudra once again. Letting the forehead soften and the eyes roll back. Tongue is now heavy on the floor of the mouth. Let's begin to inhale a little deeper. Swallowing if the mouth is dry. Wiggling toes and fingers. Following any urges to move or stretch. And when you're ready, roll to your preferred side. and then bring yourself up to seated. So if you do have that block, let's sit up on the block. Taking those hips a little higher, only bending the knees if there's no discomfort in the knees or hips, otherwise feel free to straighten one or both legs. So we're going to practice alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodana. So left hand can stay on the left knee taking Chin Mudra. Now I place my middle finger and point a finger at the third eye center, but if you prefer to curl those fingers in, that is fine as well. So just blocking at the end of the cartilage, not at the tip of the nose. Of course, if you're experiencing a blocked nose or any sinus problems, skip the alternate nostril breathing and just breathe through both nostrils if you can. So when you're ready, we'll block the right nostril. Inhale through the left. Then blocking both nostrils, so block with your ring finger and thumb or if you prefer your pinky finger. Now when you block, I'd like you to engage Mula Bandha. So find a slight tone through the lower belly. Ladies lift pelvic floor, gents perineum muscle. And then as you exhale, do so through the right nostril. Keep the Bandha switched on. Then relax the Bandha, inhale through the right nostril. Block both nostrils, engage the Bandha. And then we'll exhale through the left. So I'm going to count your breaths now. We're going to inhale four, hold four, exhale four. Let's inhale through the left. One, two, three, four. Blocking both nostrils. One, two, 
three, four, exhale right, one, two, three, four, inhale right, one, two, three, four, blocking both, one, two, three, four, exhale left, one, two, three, four, inhale left, one, two, three, four, blocking both, holding one, two, three, four, exhale right, one, two, three, four, inhale right, one, two, three, four, blocking both, one, two, three, four, exhale left, one, two, three, four, last round, inhale, one, two, three, four, blocking both, holding one, two, three, four, exhale right, one, two, three, four, inhaling right, one, two, three, four, blocking both, one, two, three, four, exhale left, one, two, three, four, well done, lower the right hand down, take chin mudra, and just a few breaths through both nostrils. Engage Mulabandha when you hold the breath and when you exhale. And in your own time, with as little disturbance as possible, we'll recline into Shavasana for the last time. Now we'll leave you here today, yogis. Please do take a few minutes in Shavasana allowing the body and mind to reset. And I hope you enjoyed the practice. If so, please do subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to support free yoga on YouTube. And if you would like more Vinny Yoga sequences, please let me know. Have a lovely day. Namaste.